tell. So this pattern six example with a transitive verb, indirect object, and direct object. The bunny gave a big clap to his owner. The bunny is the subject. A big clap is an indirect object. To his owner is a direct object. To his owner is receiving a big clap. A, a big clap. The indirect object will always be between the verb and the direct object. That makes us pattern six. Alright, go. So today we're going to cover sentence structures. The first one is sentence pattern 1A, and this is the example. Ivan is inside the tent. We first identify the verb is, so it's to be. Anytime you have a verb that is to be, it's sentence pattern 1A. Um, okay. Then, inside the tent represents an adverb because it answers the question, adverbial, sorry, because it answers the question, where is Ivan? He is inside the tent. So we underline inside the tent, and this is the adverbial. This is to be. And Ivan is the subject. That covers sentence pattern 1A. I'm ready. I'm ready, Ivan. All right. So sentence structure. Uh, we're first going to cover uh, sentence pattern 1A, and this is the example. Ivan is inside the tent. So first we identify. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For sentence pattern 2A, the example is the worm is slimy. The worm is the subject. We're going to underline this. This is in the form to be. And slimy here is the subject complement. And it's the adjective. Because it describes the worm. What is the worm? Slimy. Go. Sentence pattern to be. This is the example. His best friend is an elf. We begin by underlining the verb, this best friend is the subject, and an elf, here we have a noun phrase, and it's a noun phrase because the word elf is a noun, and it's describing best friend, unlike, unlike sentence pattern one, uh, 2a, we had an adjective, now we have a noun describing the subject. we have sentence pattern 3a. The example is the teacher seems unhappy. We underline seems as the verb. Unhappy is an adjective and the subject the teacher. Now with sentence pattern 3 we're going to start using linking verbs. Linking verb it's a verb that does not show action so unlike running and chasing Seems is more of a passive verb, which makes it a linking verb. Unhappy is the adjective, so this makes it a adjective complement. And go. So this pattern three B example: the waiter became a bartender. Became is the linking verb. Waiter is the subject. A bartender is a noun. Became a bartender is the noun phrase complement. Who became a bartender? The waiter. Sentence pattern four. The example. The police frown. The verb is frown is the action verb. And the police is subject. Now because we have no direct object, this is simply a intransitive verb. Mm -hmm. Sentence pattern 5a. The kid mastered it. 
Kid is the subject. Mastered it is the verb. And now we have a it. The kid mastered it. Mastered it makes it a direct object. Unlike in transitive, once we have a direct object, it makes it a transitive verb with a uh, direct object. Yeah. Sentence pattern six, example, with a transitive verb, indirect object, and direct object. The bunny gave a big clap to his owner. The bunny is a subject. A big clap is an indirect object. To his owner is a direct object. To his owner is receiving a big clap. A, a big clap. The indirect object will always be between the verb and the direct object. That makes this pattern six. Census pattern seven eight. The example. The creepy child claimed his work worthless. This is a transitive verb direct object with object complement, with an object complement. The creepy child is the subject. Claimed is the verb. And his work worthless is the object complement, which also acts as a direct object. OC. Yeah. Sentence pattern 7b. The example is the dinosaurs called a shark a co worker. Dinosaur is a subject, cult is a verb. A co worker is a direct object, which also works as the noun phrase. Noun phrase. Because a co worker is a person, it's a noun phrase. Ha <laughs> ha!